And welcome back, everybody, once again to the 2023 CTMC Advent Project. I am TJ the Obscure here with you, and today we are playing Fungal Floric Up Down Ho Down, I think is the name of it. There's no sign in game. Map by Sweater? Sweater CS? Oh, okay. maybe it's here. Nope, this is just materials. Okay. Um, we will take the things. Do we need all the, the things or just some of it? I'll leave a, a little of the things here. I guess we can always make gear if we need to, right? It's a crafting game. We can craft things in this game. I think so. Ooh, I'm not sure my computer likes this version of Minecraft. Hey, there's stuff down there. I guess maybe we have to go up and down. There's not much guidance. Not much knowing what we're supposed to do. Besides, survive and complete the monument. That's all you really need to know, right? All these people with their fancy books and introductions and rules and all of that stuff. Can we avoid the spawners? We can get you to blow up your own home. Blow it up, Mr. Creeper. Whee! Hey, you didn't do your job. That's okay. We can do it for you. Oh, there's a chest. With better things, better things, we will take some backups. Thank you very much. I guess I could have made my own. Huh? We were just talking about how we have that ability. Oh, it goes deeper. It always goes deeper. I don't trust you. A little mushroom. Oh my gosh, a spider joggy. Do, sp do skeletons shoot at a slower rate when they're a spider jockey? It felt like he was not firing as quickly as he normally does. I'm always thinking, how can we best avoid all of the fun stuff? <laughs> not really. Oh, that was not cool. Fine, we'll just go fast then. Which may not be a great idea given things. I'm surprised I didn't do more damage. I feel like it should have done more damage. Oh look, we're going this way. Okay. Okay. I'm going. Oh, we took a lot of damage there. Can we um boop 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 boop? Not here. I'm not real. Leave me alone, please. A one durability shield. I mean, you never know, right? Just one creeper blast is all it takes. I don't know how that works. Like, I assume the creeper does, like, a set amount of damage, and then that translates to the durability. So if the creeper does more damage than durability, you end up taking the damage, right? I know that there are people who test all of this stuff out. I am not one of those people. Um... Whee. No, I didn't know the guys next to me were um, were skellies. Now the good news is that the second go around we should have an easier time, I imagine. We've set things off. Although I've noticed in maps that spawners seem to like reset, which is really cool if they do, and prevents that strategy of cheesing things. Um, let me through, let me through, let me out of the tree, please. Wait, did, did we have a full set of armor and I just didn't realize it? I wanted to grab some cobblestone here. Can. Oh, I gotta, I gotta actually have a pick to be able to do that. Huh? See, this for me is so much funner than the last map that we played where you died a void and just respawn again I mean it, it it's just it's different like not one is any better than the other I just prefer this because I like this having to like make my gear and stuff but it does lead to a slower experience overall I think it's a lot easier to kind of 
get soft locked basically where you can't make progress because you just don't have the gear and don't have the means of making the gear I'm going to make an axe while we're at it so I don't know I think that's interesting to think about have a bit more cobble here now, I know that we passed up some chests along the way too I don't have any torches I was surprised we jumped down at one point and I felt like we should have taken a lot more damage than we did. So far I'd say it seems like the spawners are good. Not going to be set off again. Probably destroy some along the way too. to make our job a little easier on the way back we need to get to the skelly spawner ideally be out of range of the blaze spawner pretty um, straightforward area I liked it though Looks like we can't burn things down if I had to guess. For me, the trip back is always, you know, exciting. Am I going to lose the objective? Am I going to fall victim to some spawner that we did not disable? Am I going to get lost and not know where the heck we came from? I think up there. Oh, gosh dang it. We can go and grab another one, I suppose. There's just random stuff there. Gosh dang it. I'm trying to do this fast, man. I keep making mistakes that really slow me down. Just jumped in the void. Okay, let's not put it on our bar. Where our torches normally go, but where we sometimes scroll to accidentally. Alright, red wool, boom, 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 boom. Shroom layer descent. Now to the ascent. Wait, what was it called? Ivy hold ascent. Can we just go up the side of the mountain? Like I should be cooking up some charcoal or something. Not really a clear path here. This is the clear path that we are looking for. Ah, you cannot follow me. Um, One and the two. Nope, not what I'm looking for. I need light. That's going to be very dark for people. No creeper spawners, huh? Just uh, places for me to fall. I love seeing stuff from new map makers because you kind of get used to people's styles and I also feel like people kind of you know as somebody who's done like a lot of writing and stuff and taken a lot of writing classes and who teaches writing I feel like people kind of fall into the trap of just kind of doing what others have done before them which you know not a terrible idea right like if it's worked in the past, it's you know, something that maybe works now. But um, I wish, you know, we tend to see then less kind of experimentation and stuff. Uh, okay, I get it. You guys don't like me. I just hide in my corner, please. Are they fighting yet? No. I think he can still get to me. 
but you cannot shoot. Oh, wait, did, can he shoot me in here? Did they finally fix that where the skeletons can't shoot when they're inside of here? Thing. Looks like there's maybe something. Oh, we actually made that jump. Shocking. Things, 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 things. Place all the stuff. Trust your ivy. Yeah, we seem to be okay. Um. Better sword. A yeah, perfect place for a trap, no? Would have been a great place for a tripwire trap. But you can also see, yeah, you know, things that they could certainly pick up from other map makers as well. Yeah, that's a really odd place for a skeleton thing there. Unless maybe you're using it as like a distraction. For the player. Oh man, it's so dark I can't, I can't see anything. Where are you going, guy? I like how we can see the world too. I can just climb up here, right? Or is that not good? You're gonna follow me, you sneaky, sneaky guy, you. Just bypass everything. What if I go straight to the top? Look. Thingy. Gonna put you right there. I assume this is where we want to go. I think that we're just about there. Oh gosh, don't jump off. All right, green wool has been retrieved. Let's just head down. I mean, yeah, you could just head up the side of the mountain, right? Skeleton, it's killed. Me, let me eat. Chickens. And I think this map might benefit more from, like, kind of, you know, I often tell my students, like, at least in the Western rhetorical tradition, we assume that the reader is dumb. <laughs> you have to hold their hand and explain everything out for them. Um, and I think that you may need to do, do the same thing when making maps. Like, just assume the player is really dumb. And I think I'm a pretty good example of that, too. All right, we have defeated fungal for fungal something hoe down up and down. Fun little map. I really liked that kind of chase down to the bottom, and then you're oh man the void right there like it's such a classic kind of setup. But yeah, it uh works really well. Anyways, that's gonna be it for me for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.